Nightwing issue 51. So Scott yeah. Liddell, on writing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm going to be upfront and honest. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. But it's still a terrible character development for Nightwing. And putting Lobdell on it isn't doing you any favors. So mm-hmm. this feels very much like a book from the 90s and not in that fun throwback way that sometimes that you get. It's funny because I, I was getting like the worst of the New 52 vibes from this. Not only this issue, last yeah. issue as well. but Yeah, last issue was definitely more of New 52 for me just because of the angstiness behind him. I... I don't know who thought it was a good idea to change his name from Dick to Rick. like Because they're determined to get away from the dick puns. But you know what? You, you can't take her dick away from us, alright? No, you can't You can't put the dick, I almost said, in the pants. But that doesn't make any sense. Because we're not talking about that. But... <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so while this was at least readable... I don't need to read any more because it's just upsetting. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't understand why DC is doing this. I don't want to touch it. I I I, yeah. I knew coming into this that I was not going to read a single page after this issue because I don't I don't want yeah. to. I just wanted to at least say that I tried the Labdell issues and just yeah. leave it at that. But it's um like like you say, it's not as angry and just as the last issue because it's you know it's not the first no. time I've had to put up with it. But there's a whole scene where like, Alfred comes to the bar and he's trying to talk to him, and Dick is just this asshole who gets drunk all the time and doesn't want to know anything yeah. about his past life. And I'm like, why? Yeah. Why do I care about this version of him? I don't want because yeah. at one point he says, "Oh, that past version of me is gone, and this is who I am now." Well, that's great, but I don't want to read about this past version of you. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I don't. I don't want to know this Dick Grayson and the fact that he. He talks about Barbara and Robin, you know, I just, I understand again. So I didn't get to talk about this, uh, cause I was gone during the, for issue 50, but like there's like legit science behind head injuries and it changing personalities and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But this is the comic thing where it turns it up to 15 and this is a completely different character. Like I almost just wish they would have killed Dick in that gunshot or him be in a coma then this completely changes personality. Yeah, a, a, coma, this, a, this, a coma would be better right. because he'd just be away for a while and he'll come back later. Right, <laughs> right. Well, or even a death. Like, even because, you know, no one stays dead in comics anymore. Sure. It used to be Jason Todd and Bucky. And now they're both very prominent characters. Well, I don't, don't want to say prominent for for DC. But they're both characters that, that are still around mm. since in the last 10 years. Uh, so now it's like Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben is literally the only character that has stayed dead in comics. Um, so not counting Elseworlds and other universes, I'd yeah. say. I'd say the Waynes also. The Waynes also get to yeah, fall yeah, in there. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, yeah, because we, we've had versions of Uncle Ben pop up in yeah. the like Spider Verse, what I understand. But I'm saying, like in storyline. Everybody else, like Superman's come back and and Batman's come back and freaking Krypton's came back. <laughs> Krypton's come back. Barry Allen has been back. You know? So, them killing Dick, I felt, would have been a little bit more brave than this direction. And especially with that that, that Titans issue, with, with how Beast Boy was acting and whatnot, like that, that felt like I could see what they were going for. This is just, I don't care. Because like you said, he's a jerk. I don't care that he's driving cars. I don't care about this cop. So they introduce us uh, to this this new cop where I'm like, well, where's Svoboda? Because mm-hmm. like she's Bloodhaven's detective that we all know and love. Investigating the the uh, when when Dick blew up the his bunker at the end of the last issue, this new cop shows up and it's just like, oh well, I guess Nightwing's gone. So at the end, you get this epilogue where someone who kind of resembles Dick is standing in front of the the case. Well, there's someone, he, he, this... he, he flat out set, he refers to himself as the cop, <laughs> so we know it's him. Right. Well, that's what I mean, but for, for the first page, they're, they're kind of guiding you, the, like, oh, well, maybe this is a turn. But no, it's the cop. It, it, Which, right, to be fair, page... would have pissed me off if it was, like, oh, Dick has yeah. putting the suit back on, because yeah, it's like, yeah. all he had to do was have one moment where he remembered how to fight, and that's him back in the suit. Yeah. So I'm glad they didn't do that, because that would have felt cheap, but... 
Yeah, I, I don't care about this this cop who's dressed up as Dick, but he's wearing yeah. a you know he's, he's he's got a gun with him instead. And they, like they've done this before in the New Fifty Two when he had two Nightwings running around. You've done it before when it was Jason running around as you know pre New Fifty Two. You've had Nit Nightwing in the old Chuck Dixon of a guy that was running around his face. Like fake Nightwings are like a thing, you know. I don't, I just, it's kind of lazy and it, it upsets me because Dick Grayson's one of my favorite characters and now they're taking him away from me. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just like, I, I don't want to read about this character. I didn't like it in the last issue. I hate it in this issue as well. Um, nothing about it made me think, oh, I'm going to enjoy the journey of discovery because obviously the, the the selling point should be here that he'll gradually remember things and he'll have that eureka moment and it'll be like a really feel good moment when he becomes Nightwing. I don't care about Lobdell telling this story. I also don't care about this version of the character until we get to that point. Um, especially since with comics, you kind of get this feeling like, oh no, this is going to be the status quo for X amount of time until they need him back for something else. So it could be longer than it should be because comics are, you know, what twice a month, once a month. Although it is worth mentioning, there's only one Nightwing issue, I think, in January. But, you know, <laughs> take, take that yeah, for what you will. will. No. Yeah. I mean, we'll know because of solicits and whatnot, but it's not like we're going to use it Oh, yeah, yeah. Out. I mean, we'll see it coming, so, sure. You know, that's... Um, so, so now I'm proud to say that that's one less comic that's going in the box, you know, of, of many boxes. Oh, sure, yeah. So they made it easy for me. Yeah, because, you know, he's, he's driving around and he gets mugged and he, he, he remembers... Without even realizing he remembers, he just kind of fights and he's like, whoa, like, what just happened? My, my muscle memory kicked in and I beat up people. I did like that scene. Where he's just like, just take my wallet, I don't care. Yeah. And then the guy's like, oh, I'm just going to take your cab then. And then it, 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 like, as you said, muscle memory kicks in. I like that. So, like, again, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because it wasn't complete, like, hot street trash, to borrow a phrase from Mario. But it also wasn't great. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm just surprised it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean... That feels too positive for me. I can't say that. I, I just, it, it, yeah, I have no interest in reading any more of this, and this did well, nothing to like, change my mind. It's like if you fall down the stairs and don't break anything, you're kind of like, oh, that could have been way worse. But you still fell down the stairs, you know. Sometimes your analogies leave stairs? leave a little to be desired, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. This is more like, oh. My 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 foot gets snapped in half, but at least it didn't get infected. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't know. I just I've fallen down the stairs before, and it's not fun. Oh, I'm sure you that's have. That's all. That's such a <laughs> mad thing to do. Um, what are you, what are you rating Nightwing fifty one out of ten? All right, yeah. So so this was a five out of ten. Me we on me. I my my grading's a little bit inflated, so I'm sure Pete's will be way lower. But again, I thought it was gonna be way worse. The art's not terrible either, so I find it now, hard. Two to artists, though, it had it. both Travis Moore yeah. and Gary Brown on art, um, and I did yeah. feel the change when it happened. I think it happened with the mm -hmm. Scarecrow page because they're teasing yeah. the Scarecrows, you know, up to something. Oh yeah, I forgot about that because that was a big thing in the last issue too. Yeah. Poor Percy, Ben Percy deserved better than this, but he at least he got to walk away on his own terms. Yeah, per Percy deserved better. That's the, that's the sentiment coming out of Nightwing Fifty. Uh, I, I love that no, at least none of us felt that like it's like oh, I mean, this is not his fault. This is not on him. Even if no. he technically wrote the words that were gonna, those speech bubbles in that comic, that this was not on him. He, he made it clear he didn't want to do this. And that's why he got busy. You know. Well, he avo he avoided saying that as much as he possibly could. But I yeah. thoroughly, I thoroughly believe that 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 was the final straw. Because I, I, I believe that he had a lot of work to do and that he was struggling. Maybe like he had, you know, it was like oh, it would be nice to drop something and just focus mm -hmm. on my books or my TV deals or whatever. But I right. think this was the straw. This was the final straw that said, you know what? Yeah, Definitely. I can just walk away from this now. I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah we're never gonna. What's gonna? We're never gonna know what happened with the dark web and worm. And Vicky Vale got and, out. And Willem, yeah, who yeah. kidnapped, yeah. yeah. So that's just going to be there. The there will be there'll be an annual or something where someone will write about Batman getting in solving it quickly after the fact. Just oh, you know Batman what, though, I, I, in and saved them. If if they want to switch it over to Babs after she gets her thing settled with the uh, oh, sure. grotesque, I I'm cool with that. That could be fun. That could be a thing. Yeah. yeah. Um. But hey, yeah, Nightwing's depressing. 
so there'll be no continuing coverage of Nightwing until the book changes and Lobdell's gone. That is the, yeah. the, st- that and, is the and even if they bring him back to the dick we all know and love, and Lobdell's still writing it, that's a hard pass for me. As, as so. I think... Because I, I don't expect it to just happen in the book. If it does, I might read the issue where it happens just to see how they do it. Like, how does he if, come back? Yeah, or if this is, like, a proof, like, after all the bad stuff that's happened at Sanctuary, mm. but it helps Dick out after they get Heroes in Crisis settled, then cool. But still, if Lubdell's writing it, I'm going to try to stay Because I, I could almost see it happening in an event or in a crossover or something where that's yeah. when the moment happens that he, he comes back. I, I bet like yeah no more nightwing on this show because it's garbage (laughs) and we want nothing to do with it